Hey guys, I'm going to let you know I still have some bundles left over. If you want your bundle today, hit me up on any of the social links down below for more information. Hey guys, this is Vest and today's video is going to be a little bit different because, um, yeah, I got hit with some of my videos on copyright issues with my music and it's like, I'm kind of fed up with it. Like, I don't want to have so many strikes where my you know my channel will go down or anything like that so what i'm deciding to do is basically talk to you guys through my um speed arts and hopefully that'll get you more interactive and you know you're looking at beautiful art or <laughs> you're looking at me you know draw this beautiful piece of art and um yeah hear me talk um hear me maybe talk about the anime or talk about the commission or talk about anything that has to do with the piece of art or maybe q and a's i don't know um but this is going to be something different um yeah it's just i don't want to deal with copyright issues i don't want to deal with getting too many strikes and stuff like that so this is going to be a little bit different um i don't want to uh I don't want to bore you guys either so I feel like we need to make this interactive like um, I'm thinking about doing some maybe Q&A's or maybe just talking about the commissions I don't know it's really up to you guys what I can do or what I should do um, <laughs> I I just want to have some type of um, you know some type of voice or some type of melody in here so that you know Speed arts can be boring. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say it. Speed arts can be boring. Like sometimes you don't want to listen to music, and you just speed right through it by, you know, clicking here and then clicking there and then you're gone. So it's like, um, I didn't, I first first things first. I don't want it to be like that. And on top of that, you know, having a little bit of more interaction with you guys and you know maybe finding out more about me and stuff like that would help especially with speed arts i always got something to talk about even if it's something random i guess um but yeah uh let me know like in the comments what you guys think about this new thing that i'm trying to do and um figure out because it tends to get a little bit crazy when youtube makes different um you know they change up their stuff and you know especially with the copyright the copyright is uh, you know, I, I get it, you know, I wouldn't want somebody using my work and I want to respect artists like I would like to be respected. So having me speak over, you know, me creating a piece of art instead of using somebody else's music that they work so hard on and, you know, getting hit with that copyright, you know, it's better than, you know, me just using their music without, you know, because I usually look up free copyrighted music i don't um i don't try to take something that's not mine but there be times where you know it's free for right now but then later on it turns out to be oh it's not free no more it's you know copyrighted and i don't want you know i don't want to do that and be hit and on top of that i want to respect people who make this music because they do work hard and I respect them for that um yeah so what I'm working on today is <laughs> um I always butcher this title like I don't know why but I keep uh butchering it I think it's called <laughs> uh you thought that um girls were never online or something something like that and it's an anime that I actually watched throughout the summer uh I had fun watching it. It was, you know, it was girly and cutesy and stuff for me. Um, I like the fact that, um, you know, they were dealing with uh, reality versus uh, <laughs> reality versus online or a fantasy and how they were trying to deal with uh, Anko and her, you know, her, uh, <laughs> her, her ways of um, getting out of fantasy and more into reality. Um, but yeah, 
I watched it and I enjoyed it and towards the end I was hoping that they would kiss and it was something that you know it kept bugging me because I was like okay you know she likes this guy this guy obviously likes her and they did not kiss because basically the other characters bum rushed them and basically was like you know yeah you're not getting no kissing it, this is the end and that's it so I was kind of disappointed and I decided to draw them being that I did um, love the series and um, I didn't get to read the manga at all but I, I did watch the the anime in its entirety and I did like it um, I did love the whole uh, virtual reality type stuff it was kind of cool um, it was like sword on sword art online but it didn't have like um, like it had action but it was mostly th um, you was mostly focused on uncle and her ways and how to get her out of um, this fantasy bring her more into reality um, I do recommend this to anyone who wants to watch it I'm not gonna try to spoil anything uh, maybe I did spoil I'm not too sure but maybe I did spoil um, a little bit of it because I'm talking about uh, you know the characters and the and themselves um, but uh, when it comes to Rushian and well, Rushin is his uh, his online name. I completely forget his real name because all she says is Rushin, Rushin. You know, she goes off on him with that name. So, um, yeah, I drew them too. And I was like, yeah, they need a kissing scene because this is ridiculous. How am I going to watch this whole anime in its entirety? It's like maybe 20 episodes and you're not going to show them kiss, not even once. Okay, that's messed up. And then the thing is, she was really wanting it. You know, it wasn't like it was it was supposed to happen or whatever. It was like she wanted it. And, you know, her friends just basically was like, nah, y'all not going to do this today. And opened the door and interrupted their almost kiss scene. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so this is going to be a fan art for today. And um, I... I did really, I, I completely enjoyed it. I don't even want to talk about it so much because I want you guys to take a look at it and see. I'm going to have like all the, com like I'm going to have all the descriptions I have for it. It's going to be all in the description. It's, uh, like the name, the actual name of the, man the actual name of the anime and, um, and you know, maybe where you could find it because I watched this anime in um on youtube and i couldn't watch the full end because uh i guess youtube didn't have it so what i did was i went on a different i think i went on crunchyroll or something like that and i watched it there and i was like okay now i'm satisfied you know i watched the anime yay <laughs> like this is awesome i was able to watch one and um and actually feel complete <laughs> But it, it wasn't fully completed because they didn't kiss. So I was like, okay, but I could fix that because I'm an artist. So, ha. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so uh, I did love the outfits that Uncle wears. She has like this nice pink little uh, baby doll outfit. It's so cute. And I, I didn't want to draw them in their school uniforms because of her cute little baby doll outfit. So what I did was I found both of them in their online um, RPG type game outfits and I decided to draw them in that way. Um, I really didn't have a basic like notion of what I was going to do with this whole thing, but I was going to try to mimic the same way they drew it in the anime. Um, I only did that because I wanted it to feel more like the anime. Uh, usually I do things in my own style and you guys have noticed me do a lot of stuff in my own style, but this one is more simplistic and I feel like it doesn't have as much detail as what I usually do. Like I usually add shade over shade over shade and lights over more lights over more lights. So um, I wasn't able to do that and it made the drawing a lot more faster. It was more simple. You know, um, all I had to do was just do the shade and the light and that's it. It was done. Um, but that was basically what I did for this. Um, I did have a lot of problems with doing uncle's hands. So I had to use my own hands as reference while I was drawing because 
um, her hands weren't looking correct to me. And I kept, you know, erasing, doing it over, erasing, doing it over. So I was like, you know what? Let me just use my hand and stop trying to act like I'm some type of magician. Because <laughs> I'm not. I use references. Um, and if you notice in most of my speed art, you do see my references on the side of me drawing. And that's because I always want to get my stuff right. I want to make sure that it's correct and it's going the way it's supposed to be going because there's some commissions that I do that people actually send me their art style. Like they probably, it's probably maybe a stick figure too. And I will try my best to you know, try to get their character the way they picture their character. And that's why I use my references. Not only that, um, it helps me with trying to figure out the proportions that I need to make it. And uh, that's sometimes though, you know, because when I'm trying to do proportions, I do look that stuff up before even tackling uh, a piece of art. Um, I'm right now at the point, like right now I'm, right today <laughs> i am completely satisfied with the way i do my proportions so i haven't been um looking at anything like references or anything like that but uh i tend to do so just for a refresher because i do like to people watch like <laughs> it's bad stranger danger but i do like to people watch and um actually uh you know get my proportions right uh that's what mostly some artists do. I like to do it the most. Uh, I went to art school, so we had to draw people. We had to draw stuff that was in actual real time. It wasn't like drawing manga every day or drawing logos every day. So um, I do like the people watch and get my proportions down. And that's why I use my references. And this is an ex uh, inspiring you to use references. So if you do do commissions and you can't figure out how to draw something, use ref use references and use your own body if you need to. I use my own hands and you know, my hands are kind of chubby and they're small, so I had to squish them down and then lift them up a little bit, you know, distort them a little bit because uh, you know, anime characters tend to be slimmer with slimmer hands and stuff and they're not chubby like me so <laughs> I can't you know I could use my hands yeah but I still have to distort it a little bit to make it look anime-ish um so you know that's a little bit of details that you know I did for this piece um I did love doing his armor his armor was fun to make because I was able to add highlights and shade and it, it really popped like after I did all that simplistic work it just popped and I said wow like if I did my manga like this I will be a hundred times faster I might like I could finish book after book after book, maybe in a couple of months. But I am not a simplistic type person. I'm more of a detail type person. So I cannot do that, sadly. And um, this was a basic test of if I can do it. And I can do it, but I do not prefer it. So this is not something that I will use for myself. This is something that I, I will do for maybe a commission or something else like that. And I did... You know, love how this piece came out. Uh, the outfit came out beautiful. His cape came out beautiful. I still got that little kiss in there. Um, so I really liked it a lot. I had a lot of trouble with um, shading her eyes because her eyes were like three sets of color. And then uh, Rushin's eyes was a lot more of two tones. So it was, I was having a difficult time. I was like, wow, this is not coming out the way it came out so after I did Rushin's eyes and I went over her eyes they were completely perfect and I said that's it that's it that I'm just gonna leave it like that <laughs> so that's what happened with her eyes and stuff and I added some blushes on her you know on certain areas like her boob and her shoulder and stuff to make it look more anime cutesy and then add blushes to them and a little bit of details and for the background I just threw I slapped down one of those generic ones from uh, Clip Studio because Clip Studio is my best friend <laughs> so um, basically this is the complete version 
and I love it I love the way it came out and it's very beautiful and you know I just added some highlights so <laughs> it uh, did everything well um, let me know if you guys do enjoy me talking more than uh, the music and I will definitely continue on this journey of talking and uh, you know talking about my commissions and stuff like that so thank you very much for watching and listening to me and you know watching my beautiful art <laughs> um thank you for liking subscribing and um you know just being a huge support um i hope to see you in the next video have a wonderful rest of the day